Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this line pattern in Affinity Designer. We will be creating the pattern from scratch without the use of any pre-existing assets. As I explained you in my previous tutorials, in order to create a pattern for a pattern fill, we first need to identify the core pattern that repeats itself throughout the composition. The core pattern is sometimes referred to as a tile. The key to identifying a core pattern is that it must start on one side where it ends on the other side, so it must start at the top where it ends at the bottom, and it must start at the left where it ends on the right. So here in this pattern I identify the following core pattern that I highlighted with a black rectangle. So as you can see it starts on the left where it ends on the right, and it starts at the top where it ends at the bottom. So this is what it is going to look like after we have created and exported it. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 1000 by 1000 pixels in dimensions. And we click on Create and then we go to View Guides. And we add Horizontal and Vertical Center Guides to the composition. And then we make sure that Snapping and Snap to Guides are enabled. And then we are going to start drawing the figure. So first we are going to create the green background. So in order to do so, we take the Rectangle tool, we set the Stroke to None, and we set the Fill to Green. And then we'll go ahead and we draw a rectangle all over the composition, like this. And then we're going to start drawing the first line. So we take the Ellipse tool, we press on Escape. So we set the Fill to None, and we set the stroke to a lighter shade of green than the background. And we set the stroke width to 3. And then starting from the middle of the composition, and while holding Ctrl and Shift to expand from the center and preserve the proportion, we go ahead and we create a circle of about 140 pixels in dimensions. We can adjust a bit the colors if needed to make it pop up more. Alright, so now we have the first circle. Then we're going to create the divisions within the line. So in order to do so, we take the pen tool. We'll leave the fill and stroke as they are. And then we draw a line from the top to the bottom of the circle. So this is going to be our first division to the line. And then we're going to duplicate it, so we go here to enable Transform Origin to have the rotation center in the middle of the composition. And then we press Ctrl J to duplicate the line. And then to the rotation angle in the Transform panel, we add 120 degrees. So this creates our second line as we want it. And then we press Ctrl J again, and this creates our third line. And then to complete the first line, we select the first circle. We press on Ctrl J to duplicate it, and then while holding Ctrl and Shift, we scale it up until there is a three green circle between the two light green circles. Alright, so now we have our first line that is completed, so what we are going to do is in the transform panel, we select the first element of the line, we hold Shift, and we select the last element, and then we press on Ctrl G to group all the elements of the line together. So now that we have the first line that is created, we are going to need two more lines at the top and two more lines at the bottom in order to create the core pattern. So the way we are going to do it, we press on Ctrl J to duplicate the line. And then we move it to the right along the horizontal axis, like this, until it is just a few pixels after the first line, like this. And then we take the rotation center and then we set it in the center of the composition. And then we press on Enter to bring out the Move Duplicate panel. We check on Duplicate, so we are going to need 6 limes of the roll of this. So we set the number of copies to 5. And here we set the rotation angle to 60 degrees. And then this and this lime, we can delete them as we are not going to need them for the core pattern. And then the next step is that we are going to delineate the core pattern, which is going to be located from the middle of this lime here to the middle of this lime here. And we are going to do so with the Rectangle tool. So we take the Rectangle tool, we set the Fill and Stroke to None. So be sure to press Escape to unselect the rectangle from the background. And then we set the Fill and Stroke to None. 
and then we go ahead and we draw a rectangle from the middle of this line here to the middle of this line here and then we select the rectangle we take the move tool and we make sure that the rectangle is positioned correctly at the center of the lines and if it is positioned correctly then we can export what's within the rectangle so in order to do so we go to file export we set the file type as png and here at area we set selection area to export only what's within the rectangle and then we click on export All right, so now that we have exported the line pattern, we can use it to do a pattern fill. So in order to do so, we go to File New and we create a new composition. And then we take the Rectangle tool, we set the Fill and Stroke to None. And then we draw a rectangle all over the composition. And then we select the rectangle, we take the Vector Float Fill tool, and here we go to Set Bitmap Fill, and we select the core pattern that we just created. And then we press on the composition, and this creates the pattern fill. And then we can adjust the handles to make the pattern bigger or smaller if you want it. Alright, so that was it for this tutorial. You'll learn how to create a line pattern in Affinity Designer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!